Retail banks are facing a critical set of decisions over the course of the next decade. They're at an unprecedented point in their evolution. We're all very familiar with the competitive and regulatory pressures that they're facing. But the impact of technology and the compounding of these pressures is quite significant. They're going to have to make some very serious choices about where to play, how to win going forward in order to deal with these challenges to their business models and ultimately their strategies. These technology pressures are really having an impact on the margins all the way through to wholesale substitution and disruption. On the margin, we're all quite uh, comfortable uh, or knowledgeable, I should say, around the fintechs. And uh, at the last count, there are well over 3,500 fintechs around the world nibbling at the banks and participating in various elements of their, their activities. They can migrate and become whole ecosystems that offer full service propositions around segments or products or a particular need. They can also evolve into disintermediators of the banks where they separate the customer from the bank itself and the relationship management actually resides with someone else. At that point, banks are left with the back-end processing, operations and balance sheet management, if you like. Finally, they could ultimately look to substitute banks in entirety. We've got some emerging examples, for example, in China around Ant Financial, who across the four fundamental needs of banking have put together propositions outside of the regulated banking environment that meet customer needs extraordinarily well. So how do banks respond to these challenges? Well, we think there are some five fundamental uh, options that the banks really have. The first is to think about being a relationship master to understand uh, deeply the customer requirements, to understand the experiences that they're looking for, and to own that space, acting on behalf of their customers with a digital and physical proposition, uh, always one step ahead of, of where their customers are looking to be. The second is to focus on being a back-end utility. If you are a large player with scale, and you have the fixed cost that you can leverage and amortize over many, many units of activity, then the opportunity to participate in this, ch in this chain as a provider of services to companies that are actually uh, playing at the customer relationship end of the game is a very viable proposition. The third one is to think about being a digital category killer. You could actually take a segment, a product, a group of channels, um, a geography, and elect to play in, in entirety, end-to-end, -end, around the digital space and offer a complete alternative uh, proposition to, uh, to a group of customers. And the fourth and most challenging, arguably, is to be a digital scale insurgent. What that really means is actually taking the entire business, transforming it, reinventing it, and essentially shortening the value chain between customers and capital, such that through better cycle times, lower costs, much more responsive activity, and indeed a, a self-service proposition embedded with your own assistance to the customer, you offer a, a holistic op option to, uh, to customers in this environment. And the final one is to think about managing for cash or exit. And that's probably one of the toughest ones for, in terms of a decision to make for a chief executive and, uh, and their executive team. In this case, actually, you're operating in an environment where you can cut back on capital expenditure, you can cut back on investment in brand, you can live behind a regulatory wall, and for quite a few years generate a significant amount of cash, providing a great yield for shareholders in the form of dividends, special dividend distributions, or even uh, or share buybacks. It's a very viable option, and for many organizations faced with the, the challenges that we're talking about, it could well be the value-maximizing strategy. So how does a bank choose between those five options that are out there in the face of this, uh, this competitive pressure? Well, you can take the traditional view of the world and look at the external marketplace, the competitive structure, the profit pools, and how they're evolving, and the rate of decline or otherwise. Probably uh, the, uh, the most difficult element, and arguably the most important, is to take a very honest look uh, and assessment of yourself and your competitive position. We think that's along four different uh, levers. Uh, the first one is around the customer. How close are you to your customers? What degree of advocacy do you have among your customers? How, um, how supportive of they are you? What share of wallet do you have? If you have a relatively low advocacy uh, level um, in the industry, then looking to be a relationship master is probably not a viable proposition. The second thing to think about is actually your own um, uh, omnichannel capabilities. Um, are you able to work seamlessly across physical and digital propositions? Can you make data work for you and your customers to give them that experience that they're looking for? The third lever we should, uh, we should consider is, around, is efficiency. Um, basically, do you have um, a cost-income ratio and a set of operations that are able to continuously drive down the experience curve and continually reduce the unit costs of provision? And then finally, you probably want to think about innovation. How innovative as an organization have you been in terms of offerings, in terms of uh, customer service, and in terms of being abreast of the latest developments, and, uh, and ensuring that you're delivering against those fundamental needs that customers have in a different way? It's extremely unusual for a bank to be all, very good at all four of those.
There's usually just one or two that an organization will spike on. And it's those spikes that will de determine the degrees of optionality that you've got as you think about those five options for, for your organization in this environment.